Hi students, this is Mansi Bosley, your mentor for physics and maths. Last classes we studied about atmospheric refraction and how it refracts light when light enters the Earth's atmosphere. So based on that phenomena, we are going to study the phenomena of advanced sunrise and delayed sunset, right? See now. Beautiful sunrise and sunset, right? Okay, so now let's see what do we mean by advanced sunrise. See, consider yourself, you are here. This is the earth, you are on the earth. Okay, and this is the sun. Now, when this is the horizon, what is horizon? Horizon, horizon is the largest distance which you can see. Now, what is happening is you the earth is rotating right that's why we are able to see the day and night phenomena because earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation around itself right so when you are i mean just early in the morning around 5 30 before the sunrise okay uh consider that this is the horizon it is the largest distance that you can see now until now sun has not risen that means sun is still below the horizon sun has not risen but after some time you will see that the sun is coming up right so now what is happening over here there is atmosphere okay these are the atmospheric layers of the earth light rays from sun is reaching okay let's consider this light rays from sun is reaching you but again as it passes through the layers it appears in a bended form right because light when reaches us it appears in a bent form it appears in a bended form and we know we human beings cannot see the bended light we will always perceive it in a straight line like this okay so though the sun is below the horizon we will be able to see the sun even before the sun has risen above the horizon okay so this is called as advanced sunrise advanced sunrise again this is the horizon the largest distance that we can see okay so these are the ways in which the light ray is coming to us this is the earth's atmosphere right so when the light rays is coming to us in this way they are bending and coming to us right so when they bend and come to us doing bending do we see the light rays bended no we will perceive the light rays directly and this is the image of the sun which we see right this is the sun so though the sun is below the earth we are still able to see the sun this is how the bending happens and now see this is the image of the sun so whatever whenever we see the sun it is not the actual sun it is the apparent position of sun that just the way we studied for the stars anything in the universe which we see is not real it is only the apparent positions which we are seeing why because we are only getting the bended light why bending is happening because it uh, because of earth's atmosphere right so this is the bending phenomena because of which we are able to see the sun even before it has risen even before the sunrise so what time until what time are we able to see the sun before the sunrise so it is two minutes so that is why this phenomena is called as advanced sunrise what is advanced sunrise we are able to see the sun even before the sun has risen 
we'll start see viewing the sun two minutes before the sunrise the same phenomena will occur when sun goes the other way so that means when it sets when the sun sets so though the sun is below the horizon again the light rays will bend and come and again you will view the sun like this so though it has gone below you will still be seeing the sun right so that is called as delayed sunset delayed sunset for how much time can we see the sun again for more two minutes right so it delays so even though the sun has gone below the horizon that means sun has set down still we can see the image of the sun right so this way two minutes before and two minutes after so this is the phenomena of advanced sunrise and delayed sunset right now the effect of the bending or the turning effect is highest when the object is at horizon because from the horizon the light rays will bend and come to you on the contrary when the sun is just above the surface that means when in the afternoon the light rays from the sun reaches directly normally and when we know that when a light ray reaches normally does it get refracted no it will go on like that it will go on without any bending so the effect is highest when the object is at horizon now more lower is the object more is the shifting effect that means more the lower more down is the sun more is the shifting effect as it rises up above the shifting effect is almost zero as it rises so rises 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 until here now it is just entirely above you it has fully risen so around in the afternoon at around 12 12 1 o'clock the sun is just above your head so the shifting effect will not be that much okay so this is the phenomena of advanced sunrise and delayed sunset again if a question comes based on this two mark three mark question you have to write down these points along with this diagram diagram is very important earth atmosphere this is the observer Let's draw a straight line this is the horizon now this is the real position of the sun but the light has bended and come and you are pursuing it in like this again during sunset the sun has already set down but again the light rays will bend and come and you will still perceive it above right so this these are the points that you need i need to write sun is visible to us before the actual sunrise and after the sunset the density of the air near the surface of the earth is slightly higher the rays of the sun coming through the space enter at the top of the earth's atmosphere and travel from rarer to denser medium we know this already studied so many times they bend slightly towards the normal at each refraction and appear to come from apparent position of the sun hence sun appears to rise a few minutes before the actual sunrise the same phenomena is applicable for delayed sunset as well and the sun continues to be seen a few minutes after it has actually set down these are the points and this is the diagram that you need to supplement your answer with apparent position so hence the sun is visible to us 2 minutes before the sunrise and 2 minutes after the sunset this it and all increases the daytime by 4 minutes this was the phenomena of advanced sunrise and delayed sunset right next class we are dealing with again one of the very interesting topics mirages formation of mirages again Uh, we are able to see because of atmospheric refraction okay stay tuned bye bye have a nice day